www.jbeans.net. Falmouth is a port town located on the north coast of Jamaica. Founded in 1769, the city is the capital of the country's Trelawney Parish and is known for being one of the most well-preserved Georgian-era towns in the Caribbean. In this video, we'll provide an overview of our December 2021 visit to Falmouth, when our ship, the Emerald Princess, docked at the port and we spent the day exploring the cruise center. Just a quick note that if you enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up or leave a comment. It really helps our channel. And consider subscribing so you get alerted when we add new videos. The Falmouth Jamaica Cruise Center is located on the eastern side of the city, near Bush Key, and has two docks for cruise ships visiting the port. The Cruise Center is home to many shops many restaurants, and several transportation options for exploring Falmouth on your own, including shuttles and taxis. After leaving our ship and walking along the dock, we found two welcome signs that were great for a photo op. Like many photo ops, we found the signs to be far less crowded later in the day compared to when we first arrived in port. We continued walking through the security building and soon arrived at the cruise center's main courtyard. The cruise center was roughly divided into three sections, with a few buildings containing retailers on the left side of the main courtyard. Several buildings containing retailers located in the central area beyond the main courtyard. And a couple of buildings containing retailers on the right side of the main courtyard. There were also freestanding shops located throughout the cruise center. And a large craft market which was home to many vendors. A directory kiosk located toward the right side of the main courtyard just past the security building included a map and listing of retailers, which made it easy to find everything we were looking for. Additionally, signage located throughout the cruise center was also helpful for finding restrooms, transportation, the city, the cruise terminal, and more. The Falmouth Margaritaville was located just beyond the main courtyard. The entrance was easy to find by walking straight to the mini clock tower square in the central area of the cruise center, then turning right and walking through the pirate ship with a large sign. The Falmouth Margaritaville was one of the cleanest Margaritavilles we've ever visited, and the staff were super friendly. The location featured a bar a restaurant, a large pool area with loungers, a swim-up bar, and a waterfall, a retail store, and a shaded outdoor area between the buildings that included several tables and chairs. A sign indicated free Wi-Fi was available. The shuttles and taxis that were available for cruise passengers were located on the left side of the central area of retailers, just beyond the craft market area. A large Falmouth Port Taxi Service rate sheet was available for visitors to know how much shuttle and taxi service cost to various points of interest. The side indicated that visitors should look for stickers indicating the various taxi services were approved by the Jamaica Tourist Board or the JTB. A pathway located beyond the central area retailers was lined with a series of signs that provided a brief history of Jamaica, including history of the country, history of the city of Falmouth, the story of the arrival of Christopher Columbus's first ship in 1494. The story of Governor Henry Morgan. 
the story of the Free Black Society, and more. There was also another welcome sign available for a photo op and a large, colorful illustrated map that displayed both the cruise center and the city beyond. The gates to exit the cruise center into the city were located adjacent to the historical signs. However, cruise passengers were only allowed to exit via ship-sponsored excursion or approved taxi service due to COVID restrictions that were in place when we visited. And that meant we were unable to do the walking tour we prepared for our visit. Finally, returning back to the main courtyard, a large One Love, Love Lock display was located in the far right corner of the main courtyard. A sign near the display provided a history of love locks and encouraged visitors to add their own lock to the display. The nearby tours and information stand had locks available for purchase for five U.S. dollars.